Hey everybody, Rick's here. Good to see you again. What I thought I would do in this video is working with decals. Now, I've got a few packages here that uh, I received and yeah, I've done a few things with decals in the past, but I haven't made a video on it that, that I can recall. Anyway, uh, but I want to show you a few different types of decals that are available to you. And then I thought we'd go ahead and play around with them and see what we can make with it. Now I've got this, uh, says no need spray from Koala here, uh, water slide decal paper. And this one here, you can use inkjet or laser. It has a white background, as you can see right there. It says white matted background. So you need to make sure that whatever you're putting it on, you don't mind that you're going to have a white background. And that's inkjet and laser. And then I have this other one here, also says koala on there. And this one here is a water slide decal paper for laser as well. And as you can see right here, it says laser, and then it says it's clear. This one has a clear background. And uh, I was taking a look at this, and I'm, I'm trying to grab for my glasses, and my glasses are not on my shirt. All right. I looked at this, and it doesn't say anything about having to spray it either. So... That's good, but this one here is only compatible with laser printer. So both of these will go on a laser. Uh, the no need spray one here will also go on an inkjet. And then don't worry, you inkjet people out there, got you covered. Uh, we got the water decal slide here for inkjet. Clear, it's also got a clear background. You see right there, it says clear. And uh, this one here, I'm going to bet you need to spray this puppy. Let me just check this out here and make sure. Uh, you'll want to, step two is you're gonna want to uh, seal the image with clear acrylic varnish three times after you've printed it. So let's quit monking around. Let's get right to monking around. <laughs> hey everybody, you've probably seen a few of my videos. I've got this bottle sitting here off to the side and you're probably wondering what is that thing uh well i've had this thing for for many 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 months and basically i just don't go anywhere without it and i literally mean i don't go any well <clears throat> if i have to go to the restroom i don't usually take it with me but everywhere else i take this with me i go to the park i take it with me i go for a walk i take it with me go to the store it's right there in my truck matter of fact it has been through some real tough times if you look i've dinged it up pretty good right here and i dinged it up pretty good right there a lot of times i'll be carrying a bunch of stuff and i've got this thing in my finger like this which is it's great it's got that hook thing right and sometimes i'm just butter fingers and i drop it and i've dropped it on the bottom here and i you know, it's a pretty rugged thing. Sure, I ding it up, but it still does what it's made to do. And that is, it keeps my water cold for days. Now, I don't mean like days as in weeks and months, but I put, yeah, there's still ice in here, and that was from yesterday morning. So you put ice in this thing, you put water in this thing, and it just stays cold. 24 36 hours i mean it's just cold water on demand anyway this was sent to me this disclaimer by the folks over here at the coldest water and they were even kind enough to brand it for me check that out is that super cool i told the folks yeah send me one of these things i want to try it out i definitely don't want to say anything about something i i haven't really used but this thing i have used and, and, and proof's in the pudding, right? It is, it is banged up. I mean, I, I've had this thing for months. And uh, I can really tell you, uh, when I'm ready to 
if I ding this thing up enough, I'm I'm getting me another one. Um, it, it's it's worth the money. I think it's fantastic. You guys, I'll go check them out there over at the coldest water. I believe it's coldestwater.com. They don't tell you on here, do they? Oh, car. Yeah, they do. Right there. So you can see that label's pretty old. It's been under the water a few times. The coldestwater.com. This one here is a 32 ouncer. It has this really cool look at look at the texture on this thing. It's pretty good. It's got this nice black matted paint job on here. Uh, ignore the fact that you know I've I've dinged that up there, have dinged that up there. It's it's got a uh, it's like a dual insulated type thing where it has this outer shell and then it has an inner shell and it keeps everything nice and cold. You, you have this little flip thing. You can pull that back and this built-in straw thing is right there. This thing is so cool all day long, right? Okay, so there you go. Uh, that is the coldest water. I can personally highly recommend this insulated bottle here. Do yourself a favor. Don't drop it like this knucklehead. It's held up. I love this thing. All right, well, I printed out some things here using my inkjet printer with the color setting to uh, best photo. That's I wanted the best color I can get, even though most of my images are black and white. It's kind of kind of weird, huh? That I'd go with full color when I got black and white. Anyway, but it gives a nice richness of color. You can see that these came out really nice. Okay, so this this one here is the the inkjet clear. So the instructions here is after you've printed it, and of course you let your ink dry, then you're going to want to grab some uh, clear acrylic sealer such as this Mod Podge or you can get Krylon. I use Krylon also. You can you can also use this Kmar varnish if you wanted to but I'm going to go ahead and use this Mod Podge and they suggest doing this a few times uh, so don't settle with just once if you want to make this permanent and the whole idea is to make this color fast because you know you'll be throwing it in your dishwasher and stuff most likely. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this. Okay, so don't want to drown it too much. I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back. I'll spray it again, let it dry, then I'll spray it for a third time, let it dry, and then we'll come back. No need for you to watch me spray this thing three times. It's only going to take a couple of minutes for each layer to dry, so I'll be back at this sooner than you. Okay, here's what I've done now. This, this one here happens to be the Inkjet Clear. This is the one that required that uh, I spray three times with a clear coat of some sort. I've already sprayed this three times. Three times the charm. So you can see it's got all kinds of glossy look to it here because it has been really coated. So this should be well protected now uh, in the water and, and if you want to bake it in the oven or, or whatever the case may be. And I also printed out this one here. Now this one was the laser printer one and that is this one right here, okay, laser clear. And this one did not say that I needed to spray it, so I have not sprayed it. And so that looks pretty good. Uh, one of the things I wanna tell you about the laser printer one is make sure you put it in your tray and set it for a heavy card stock and, and instead of using the manual feed, because I ended up smearing one of these. It wasn't pretty. And so I was able to get a good, good print out here because I actually followed the instructions, set my printer to heavy cardstock, and the printer told me to use the tray and not the manual feed. So I guess the manual feed's a little too tight of a turn. And as you can see, they look the same, pretty good, except this one's shinier because of the spray. And I imagine if you wanted to, you could spray this one too. Uh, but I, I will think that the laser printing stays on pretty good. Uh, it's not an ink. 
it's a toner, whereas this is an ink from the inkjet. And then last but not least, here is, now this is also the inkjet, and this one here says that it is no need spray, as you see right here, inkjet and laser. I chose to use inkjet for this one. So these two are inkjets, and this is laser. So we're gonna have fun with all of these here. Now, what am I gonna be putting these on? Well, I figured I'm gonna put them on uh, ceramic cups. I got a couple of ceramic cups here. One of them I had already did this goofy thing, and this is, this is what you have to be concerned about, is the paper, this one right here, you see it's a matte white background. It's not transparent, and so it's white, and even though my cup is kind of a white, it shows up too much, and I don't like that. So I would reserve using the white background for other purposes unless you don't mind having a white background. But it didn't work too well for the butterfly thing here. I prefer transparent, and that's what I'm gonna use this side for, is I'm gonna put one of these on here. I didn't wanna use up a, uh, another cup. This one's my experimental one, so. If you were to cut it so that you don't have any background, like you cut right up to the image, well, it will work great for that. That's why I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now with this one. Because you don't have any white in the background. And this one here is the one where you don't have to spray it and you can use either your ink jet or your laser jet. So that's really convenient that you can use ink jet or laser jet. All right, so that you're not confused, that's this one right here, the no need spray, and it works in ink jet and laser jet. And you can see that they, they show the white background here. Uh, and you can see it on this cup thing here, though, I'm, like I already showed you, that uh, that doesn't look too wild. I don't particularly care for that. But if you have it where it doesn't have a white background to it like that, see, this white is good, but I just don't want it out here, then it shouldn't have a problem, right? Okay, now all you have to do is you just get yourself some water and you just throw it in the water like so. Watch it curl up a little bit. It won't take long for this thing to, to be ready. Now you can just gently between your thumb and one of your fingers, just gently feel for when it's ready to release. Don't put too much pressure. Okay, we're not trying to wash the image off or anything, but we wanna, we wanna kinda tug on it just a little bit to get an idea, you know, once it starts to release, you, you'll be able to tell it'll release really, really easily. If I can show you here in the, you can see, you can see it's starting to separate, see that? Okay, and it separates, make sure it stays wet. Okay, so you get this separating like this. Now, what you wanna do, don't separate it while you have it in the water. In other words, don't take it apart right now but find the surface that you're gonna put it on and then just start feeding it out like this. This is the best way to do it, all right? And you can move it around while it's still wet. You can move it around and make sure that you don't have any air bubbles in there. So what you can do, I got that nice and aligned up. So I'm gonna get me a paper towel here Okay, and I'm gonna put it right over. I'm gonna press, take some of the moisture out and get the air out of the, now you can still adjust it. You can see how I could adjust this, but I wanna make sure that I have all the air out. So press it down really good. Try not to move it around too much so you can keep having to replace it. All right. Well, that looks really good. I like that. All right, so then what you can do is after it's thoroughly dried, you can bake this thing. According to this thing here, it says that if you're, whatever you put the substrate, that's this cup, okay? 
If it's temperature resistant, you can bake it in the oven at 230 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. If you're going to use something that's, uh, that doesn't take high temperature very well, you can just use yourself this heat gun here, for example. This one's uh, my Hippie Cracker heat gun. See that? I use it all the time in my videos. You can use a hair dryer as well. You can just dry that up. I'm not going to spend too much time doing that right now. But uh, once you get it all nice and dry and everything, uh, it will it'll stay on permanently. It won't move around like it does right now. And um, then there you go. You have your cup. Now. What I'm going to try right now, let's see, is we're going to use this one right here. Uh, let's see, let's try the, let's try to drink coffee and uh, keep calm one here. And this has a transparent background. So this is perfect, you know, where you can, you don't have to cut perfectly around the image. You can just cut a big old square out like this is this one right here okay inkjet clear remember that it's the one that I sprayed uh, three times with the uh, Mod Podge acrylic clear coat and you're gonna see that it will come off of here now I'm gonna make this nice and clean that wasn't so clean let's make this a nice clean rectangle alright so again I'm gonna throw that in the water they always seem to curl up. I'm going to grab you another. Here's a brand new cup. Haven't used this one yet. Okay. And again, with your thumb and finger, you'll know when it's ready to separate. When you just kind of tug on it just a little bit between your thumb and finger, and uh, it will separate. All right, I feel it's separating right now. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that out and grab my mug and I'm gonna slide it on out like this. There we go. That helps minimize air bubbles by doing it that way. All right, that looks pretty cool. Tap it down, make sure I have no air bubbles anywhere in there. I want it all nice and flat. That looks really, really cool. All right, make sure that it's starting to want to stick here. So I think that looks, I think that looks even, right? Look at that. Okay. And again, this one here. It tells you that you can stick it in the oven as well. Let me grab the instructions for that. Yeah, 230 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, if it's not uh, a high temperature resistant material, this one is, but if it wasn't, you can just let it naturally dry for one to three days. But what you wanna do is let it sit out for at least three hours, not in direct sunlight, and then go ahead and put it in the oven. Don't do it right away. Let it, let it dry for about three hours. So those are the instructions for that one. Pretty easy. So that's pretty cool looking. I like it. It looks like it's even. I don't see any air bubbles in there at all. I love the fact that uh, it has the transparent background there. I'm, I'm gonna enjoy that. So it's gonna be cool. So what I'll do is I'll stick that on there and uh, I think I'll put uh, I think I'll put rock and roll on this one here. I'm gonna put this one on the other side of the cup. On this side, it says "Keep calm and drink coffee." On this side, I'm gonna have the rock and roll guitar with wings. I'm not going to edit it now. All right, there we go. We got separation going on here. All right, now slide it out real nice and easy, like so. And again, I'm gonna take my paper towel here and use it to press all the air out, make sure I got good contact, and adjust it any way that I want it. 
All right, take a look at that. That looks pretty good, don't it? Doesn't it? Which is it? Is it donut or doesn't it? I don't know. Donuts? That looks great. Look at that. Yeah, I, I like the transparent backgrounds better. I don't mind having to spray it. I mean, you know, it is kind of an extra step. But if you have, you know, if you have the spray and you have the time, you know, you know that you're going to have a nice protective coating on this. It's going to stay color fast because you have that clear coat on there. But there you go. Wow, that, that looks pretty sharp. That's pretty nice. Not only am I taking up extra moisture here, but I am also squeezing out all the little air bubbles that I see and little mistakes like that and my honest opinion is that personally with this particular product I don't really like it maybe other people you know have good reason for this because you can use either printer and technically you don't need to spray although I would I would probably want to spray it you're going to see, I have a little bit of red bleed going on here. I can see close in the camera, I got some air bubbles I got to deal with. Okay, there we go. Let's get those air bubbles out of there. But uh, I have some bleed, color bleed here. And, um, and as you can see, it shows pictures of what you can put it on. You can put it on like your candles. You know, I think there's like a couple of candles, you know, glass candle holders things. And. But you can see the white, you can see the white paper and it feels like paper. See? And because it feels like paper, I don't like that. I would like the decal to be like this where it, it looks like it was actually painted onto the cup. You see, that's nice. I love that. And when that dries and I bake it and it's permanent, you know, People look at it going, hey, that's a really nice professionally done cup. See, I didn't have to use sublimation or anything to do this. But there's that. I'll let that sit around for three hours, I guess. Okay, and here's a way to look at it too. See this one? I did this one with the same paper. See, you can, you can tell that it's, it's, it doesn't look like it was painted on the cup or anything. It, it does look like it's lying on top because it is. And, you know, I just don't find that to be, uh, it doesn't look that professional doing it that way. I, I don't like that. Is this one here is the clear inkjet, I believe it is. That'd be this one. No, this one here is the clear laser. And the one that we've been doing, the clear, the clear inkjet required the spray. Okay, the clear inkjet required the spray. You had to use a spray. Remember that? All right, I'm gonna put those together. This, this is the clear laser. No spray. Let's use it and we can compare it to the one that has the white background. How's that? Okay, so this one's all done with a laser, but it has the transparent background. All right, and then we're just gonna slide this on, like so. Okay, and let's move it where we want it. Right there, paper towel. Okay, when it's really wet, it moves a lot, so be careful. So you can you can really see the difference here. Okay, on the on the left, of course, it's the the clear background. That looks really good, and then that's the paper background. Notice the one on the left's got more of a golden face mask, and the one on the right's more of a bronze-looking face mask. Look at that. Yeah, I got some air creeping in there. So make sure to get that out before it dries. This one here is the laser printer clear. 
water slide decal paper, voila. All right, this one here is the no need spray, koala, with the white matted background, five sheets. We have the inkjet clear, which you see here and here. Really nice. Those are, it's already starting to dry. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take that off and save my tile. That came off real easy. <laughs> anyway, and there's, no, there's no, nothing sticky on there, so. You know. Anyway, I'm going to save this tile. Well, there you go, folks. Um, I hope you appreciate my being candid, as usual, about this. And uh, if you want to get your hands on some of these, I'll have links down below in the description area where you can grab this laser jet clear or this inkjet clear. And, of course, you can, if you want, grab this one. Yeah, these two. I like these two, the clear. But if you have a use for a white background and a paper feel, well then go ahead, you know. Well, there you go, folks. Anyway, all in the description area below. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.